our next contestant, contestant number nine, is Sanvi Sala. <laughs> Do vegetables have feelings too? Do vegetables have feelings too? Sanvi Sala. Do vegetables have feelings too? Well, I only have one answer for this question. Yes, vegetables have feelings too. Now, before all of y'all think I'm crazy, let me explain. Imagine a sunny day in the garden. The tomatoes are basking under the sun. The carrots are chilling underground. The lettuce is trying to stay cool. Onions are chilling and the potato is lazing around. It looks so peaceful, right? But my friend, there is more to it. Let's start with tomatoes. Tomatoes are just like one of my friends, a drama queen. Every time you pluck one from the ground, they're silently screaming. They have been with their vine friends for weeks and suddenly they're in a salad. Talk about separation anxiety, which reminds me of my friend who I swear could literally win an Oscar for her theater works. She should seriously consider a career in acting. Next, moving on, we have carrots. Carrots are the introverts, just like my cousin. They hide underground, avoiding everyone. And one day, they're yanked and thrown into the kitchen to be chopped into a salad. It's like being dragged to a party when you'd rather stay home binge watching Netflix. Just like my cousin. Cousin, I see you sneak away at gatherings. Anyway, moving on, we have lettuce. Lettuce is an overachiever, just like any popular kid. It always tries to be the star of the salad, but it wilts under pressure. One minute it's fresh, the next is a soggy mess. It just can't handle the stress. Like Miss Popular. Miss Popular, calm down. Life isn't a reality TV show audition. Remember that group project in class? Yeah, exactly. And don't get me started on onions. Onions are the emotional ones, just like my aunt. Every time you chop one, they cry out loud. Why are you doing this to me? It's like a soap opera with all the tears. Seriously, auntie, save the drama for your mom. Even potatoes, even potatoes have feelings too. They're the couch potatoes of the garden. They just want to relax, but we mash them, bake them, fry them. It's like asking a slut to run in a marathon. Uncle, I feel your pain when you ask to do anything but channel surfing. So, after saying all this, should we stop eating vegetables? Not exactly, but maybe we should appreciate them more. Give that carrot a pep talk, tank the potato, and keep tissues in handy for the onion. Whether or not vegetables have feelings too, treating all living things with kindness is a good idea. And who knows? Maybe in the future, science will prove that plants have feelings too. So the next time you all enjoy a salad, think of the brave vegetables. Bon appetit!